Now it's your turn to have a go. Let's say the probability of it raining on any given day is um, 0.2 here. And the probability of it not raining on any given day is 0.8. I want to know what, what is the probability of, rain, of it raining at least once on two consecutive days. So two consecutive days means two days next, next to each, each other. So for example, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, what is the probability of it raining at least once? So if you have rain here, rain here, rain on a Wednesday, rain on a Thursday, that's a good outcome because it's at least, at least once. So rain, well, this is classed of, this is classed as at least once. Um, if it rains, not rain, uh, sorry, not rain, then, then this is a good outcome because it rained at least once. Um, if, if, if you have, uh, not rain, and then not rain, then this is a bad outcome. Okay, so so what is the probability of it raining at least once on two two days next to each other? Okay, um, use use the um, the uh, the the tree diagram uh, rather than the, um, the the well the table diagram is not good uh, for for this scenario here. Okay, so anyway, do what you want. Find out the probability of it raining at least once on two consecutive days. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so so to do this, um, draw draw your draw a map of all the possible things that could happen on, on two days. So here you start here. So imagine you starting here, and on your first day it could rain or it could not rain. Okay, so rain, uh, not rain. So probability of it raining would be 0 0.2. The probability of it not raining is 0.8 okay now let, let's say on, on your first day it rained okay and then and then now you've got to think about your your second day well a second day is a new day it has nothing to do with the previous day so it could either rain or not rain okay so so here we are really drawing a map of of um, of an of, of events so here it could rain so so you you are here on your first day it rained now on your second day, it could either rain or not rain. Okay, so the probability of it raining here would be 0 0.2, uh, and the probability of it not raining is 0 0.8. Okay, uh, and now let's let's go back to uh, to the beginning again. You are here. Um, it could uh, well let's say it doesn't rain. Okay, on, on your first day. Now the second day is a new day, so it, it could either rain. Or not rain. Let's say, uh, well, the, well, the probability of raining is not 0.2. The probability of it not raining is not 0.8. Okay. So now, um, now, which which branches are, are good for 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 what we want to know? We want to know of it raining at least once. Well, rain, rain and rain. So so this branch here is class is classed there as at least once. So, so this is a good outcome. Probability of rain and rain. So, so this is a good outcome. So, really, this is uh, uh, so because we want to know it rain and rain. So we need to get 0 0.2 times 0 0.2. Okay, because we need rain and when there's an and, uh, when 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 there's an and. You go to times. If it, if it's an or, then you add. Okay. But we we need this branch first. So this so 0 0.2 times 0 0.2. Jump to your calculator if you want. Uh, it would be 0 0.04. Okay. Um. And and then we we need um because we're trying to answer the question of it raining at least once. Well, rain and not rain. That's that's class as a good outcome. So the probability of it rain. And not rain. Uh, we are interested in th in this branch, this branch, and well, don't forget this branch as well. Not rain, and then rain. Okay. Um, so so here, well, we we are now looking at, at this branch here of it raining, not raining. Okay. So rain, not rain. So this this would be uh, this would be well, we need rain on the first day, which is not point two, and not point well not rain here so well that's an and so we've got to times this okay so that becomes 0 0.16 okay um and, and also we need we need this branch here 
So this branch will be a uh, probability of it not rain, a comma rain. So that that would be uh, well, we've got to go down here, which is 0 0.8 uh, times because times uh, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 because we need this happening and this to happen. So basically, this this whole branch here, we've got to times the two. So this becomes 0 0.16. Okay. So now, um, don't forget, once you've drawn the diagram, um, the diagram represents all the possible things that could happen. Um, we need, well, this is one possible route, or this route here, or this route here. Remember, if, if it's an or, then, then we need to add. So basically, probability of at, at, at least once, once equals, well, we, we need to add this branch, which is given by this, plus, uh, plus this branch here, which is given by this, and then plus the final branch here, which is given by this. So basically, we need to add all, all three together. So hang on, you could jump to a calculator, but I, I don't really like my calculator, so let's, let's do this. Uh, hang on. So this would be, um, well, we're, we're, we're adding up three branches, basically. This is our first branch, second branch, third branch. Um, we, we, we've got to add them all up, because, because if, if you think about it, we need this branch, or this branch, or this branch. Um, well, anyway, when it's an or, you've got to add. So this would be 16 carry the 1, so that would be 3. So, so, not, so the probability of it ha raining at least once is, um, is equal to 0 0.36. Okay, um, yeah, so, so once you've drawn this diagram, that's a quick way of doing it. You see, the question is saying, what is the probability of it raining at least once? Well, well, you know, if, if, you, if you add up all the branches together, it, 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 the probability would be 1. Because we are drawing a map of all the possible routes that you could take. Well, if you must take 1, well... If you add up all the possible routes here, it, it all it all adds up to one, okay? Um, and then all, all, you, all you have to do is work out the pro probability. Well, look at this look at this uh, diagram here. You've got this route here. You've got this route here. You've got this route here. And you know that if you add up all the routes, it, it has to come to one, okay? So what you do, you work out this route here, and then just get one, take away. Uh, take away not rain and not rain. That's all you have to do. So, 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 so to answer this question, you could just do this. One take away 0 0.8 times 0 0.8. So, well, 0.64. So all you have to do is take, get one, because you know that if you add up all the branches together, it, uh, it, add, it must add up to one. Well, it, just work out this branch here. And then get one, take away this branch here. That, that should give you, uh, this, the, uh, the, the same answer as, as this. Okay? Alright?